for how we can get started back with our bulk pickup. We found a farm firm that will uh, lease us with options to purchase, uh, with the money coming from uh, the lease purchase amount, uh, eight grapple trucks that would allow us to, con to uh, continue with our bulk pickup in June. Uh, so we look asking for permission to go out. Uh, the trucks will be about $4,500 per month uh, per truck. And we will get training with that. We'll get training with that. Uh, but it allows us to start up again. In June, we, we, we would like to get this done in, uh, by June 15th, all our training and get the trucks in and start that bulk pickup uh, that week. And then at another week on June the 22nd, at least two bulk pickup uh, in the month of June. These trucks will allow us to get that, uh, to keep our, our, our employees uh, safe from the uh, COVID and make sure that uh, we're doing uh, the services to, uh, to our community. Thank you. And what's the value of this contract, Director? Uh, the value is around four, for the year is 12 months. It's right. around $462,000 for the year. OK. Um, and this is a option to purchase. And once the, if granted a, a authority to enter into this, you believe that we can have the vehicles in our possession, staff training, ready to go by June 15? Yes, sir. The, the vehicles are, are being moved to Kent. We asked them to move the vehicles to Kent. We will have the training, and we will be getting people in the street to get this uh, on the 15th. We, that's why I asked uh, for that, that third week of June. Great. And, fourth week. and Great. And again, this is something we wouldn't normally want to do under suspension, we want to put it through committee and have more time, but I think this is very important to get bulk pickup up and start as soon as possible. So questions, comments on 470-2020. Hearing none. Oh, I'm sorry, Councilman Plenzik is waving his hand. Let me make sure I get my, I get the hands raised. Uh, Councilman? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I yeah, can. we can hear you. But I can't hear you. Can you hear us now? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mike. Couldn't hear some of the audio before I was at the problem here. So um, my question is to direct uh, um, all of us as well know we've experienced a problem with the, the bulk pickup. Um, but I, I my I'm questioning why are we buying um, this type of why are we just using uh, front end uh, that we can be using year round. Why aren't we either leasing or or buying front end loaders and just moving the drink the bucket, which in turn you can do a uh, a tandem dust. Why are we going this route, Mr. Chairman? To the councilman, when you use a front end loader on tree lawns, you have a tendency to scrape them and mess them up and and, and damage people's tree lawns. What we use our front end loaders for is for vacant lots, to pick up debris and vacant lots where we're not damaging someone's tree lawn or anything else. The, the, the grapple trucks are used in the industry for bulk pickup. And we just wanna to get to that point where we're, where we're getting that, not only that, but also using these trucks to get this, as you know, the dumping, the large amount of dumping up when we're not in our bulk pickup weeks. So we would like to put these trucks, two at each of our waste collection stations and use them for bulk pickup on our residential streets where people, where we have occupied homes. Councilman? Well, all I can say is this, a lot of incorporate the claw to get it. A lot of be moving it out, off the tree line. So that's why I thought a bucket truck would work more effectively and efficiently, plus then you have their year round doing that. Uh, Claw apparatus, you're going to be limited to what you need for the future. Mr. Chairman, this, Mr. Chairman to the council, first of all, we're going to rent these for 12 months right now. Uh, and then we'll look at how we can, you know, use the lease to purchase on how many we can do. That'll be eight trucks. So again, I, I, I the damage that you do to a, to a occupied home with the tree lawn and the, the uh, bucket and, and, and the front end loaders, it's, it, it's, it, it's a lot of damage that you can do. So we, we, we feel this is the best way to get the bulk pickup up 
and also protect our employees from the uh, as safety and health issues our employees. Mm -hmm. And then again, if you you said up here, I was video. You have anything how long it's going to take all this crap? That I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, to the council. I, I did not hear you your entire question. Can you, you have any long going to take? See why to pick up all of this. I don't have any idea right now how long it will take, but we would like to get started uh, on the 15th of June, getting this bulk pickup. And then when we're not doing bulk pickup with this truck, we will be picking up also dumping dump sites with these trucks. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Councilman. And Director, just I'm not sure you heard us before. We have to uh, we're on a, try to have your answers be as, as direct as possible, just because we're on a bit of a time frame. Yes. Uh, Joe Jones. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to, you know, co complete up what we were saying. I'm actually dealing with the, the issues in my neighborhood. Uh, as you are aware, um, and I know the director is aware, and I know that the director has um, uh, come in the neighborhood and apparently cut our community first. And I, I realize and I understand that apparently there may be some other communities that have not yet had this is pretty tall so uh, in those about neighborhoods about as well as is in mine. Um, and it by us being first. No. We need to talk about bulk pickup right now, Councilman, as opposed to grass cutting. Right. So, so no, I was on the I was on the last I was on the Mr. Chairman, I was on the last one when you broke up, so I didn't get a chance to finish that conclusion uh, before I go into bulk. So is there any time to talk about that? Because it's a critical issue, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I, and I think it's a life quality issue. It's an issue like, where people feel that the neighborhood is abandoned. Yeah, um, Council, and so I'm, it's something that we must not, address. And I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable, but it's an issue that got to be addressed. And we talked about it for the last two and a half years. And, and so I don't have any problems, Mr. Chairman, uh, with 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 the issue, but then I'm not I'm not trying to wear the hat on it anymore any longer. Uh, if I can't get these cu these cuts done uh, in our neighborhood and it's taken care of properly, it makes me as an elected official look bad. So if the director has a program that's in place, if he would communicate that to the citizens on how it works, uh, then they are aware, and our offices won't be so bombarded and taken over by all of these people calling uh, because they can't get those those things cut. And they're probably two or three or four weeks from now. And then of course the grass would be an additional two or three, four feet tall. So mm -hmm. those are those are those are issues that that are important to my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so and I appreciate your patience, your indelible patience, Mr. Chairman, on this issue. But it's it's a sore heart cord jab in the neck every year for me. And so I need help. So now when it comes to the bulk pickup, um, the, the issue there is that we have a lot of people who still have their stuff out. And I have, Mr. Chairman, been going to some of the people's homes and telling them, please pull your bulk pickup and push it back into your yard because it makes the neighborhood look unsightly. And I've spent money out of my pocket to go pick up senior citizens uh, bulk collection here and put it on my trailer with my manpower because they were paying people to put it out there and they had no, no means to be able to put it back. So I, I'm in this Mr. Chairman with the director and I got skin, my own personal financial skin in the game on this. So that's the reason why it's a sensitive subject to me uh, on, on these subject matters. Because um, the only question before the council is whether we want to give the authority to get this equipment. We want to give him all the equipment and all the money he needs Correct. to do the job. That's so I'm there that's for it. That's what we need for today. We want to give him some and then maybe need to give him some extra. Okay, well, let's just so get through, let's get through this ordinance if we could, because we've got a, the clock is Mr. Ticking. Chairman, I yield to you. Thank you, sir. If there are no further questions, ordinance number 47020 will be considered by the full council this afternoon or when we have a council meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A couple more miscellaneous pieces I want to um, uh, read. One is a resolution. Resolution 4, this, these are council pieces. Resolution 46520, council member zone 
Kelly Cleveland, an emergency resolution condemning Norfolk Southern Corporation for rerouting daily trains carrying highly toxic and flammable crude oil and ethanol through the city of Cleveland without public notice, strongly urging Norfolk Southern to immediately cease this routing, urging Norfolk Southern to withdraw its request to the Federal Railroad Administration to reduce the rail traffic handling capacity, thus causing more traffic throughout uh, through Cleveland and further urging that all hazardous material shipments not originating or terminating in Cleveland be moved to less populous routes. I'm gonna to go to the sponsor, Councilman Zone, for a brief comment, then I just wanna know if there's any objection. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Jamie DeRosa and the administration has been working diligently reaching out to Norfolk Southern. All we're asking them is to give us a disclosure of the material that's moving. Um, they did not notify the city. They arbitrarily did the rerouting much of this train traffic was well south of the city of Cleveland. Uh, most of the critical infrastructure in our city and the density of people live along that line that the route is running. And I just appreciate my, appreciate my colleague's support on this resolution. Thank you very much, Councilors. Any objection to resolution 465.20? Without objection, resolution 465.20 will be considered by the full council this evening. Ordinance number 46820, Council Member Mooney, an emergency ordinance authorizing the Department of Aging to enter an agreement with Cork Community Service for the Senior Lawn Care and Snow Removal Program for the use of Ward 11 casino funds. Uh, Council Mooney, do you have any comments or do you want to just pass this? No, it's fine. Without objection? Without objection, ordinance number 46820 stands approved. Finally, uh, we have Ordinance number 46120, Council Members Brinkton and Kelly by departmental request. An emergency ordinance authorizing Director of Capital Projects and Director of City Planning to establish a temporary program for the use of private parking lots, streets, and other private rights of way, including on street parking areas and parklets for outdoor restaurants. Um, we've been batting this around um, for a long time. This is to extend the, to let restaurants extend out in their parking lots and all. Um, Council McCormick's worked a lot on this, uh, Councilman uh, Zone, Griffin, I'm not sure why Tony and I are the only sponsors, but um, Councilman Bashir Jones. Um, but uh, this has not been to city planning uh, at this point, but I'm inclined to just pass it anyhow, and we'll, let, we'll, we'll fix it later. Um, I, I think it's an emergency. I think um, in the time of COVID-19, I don't know that we have time to, to wait. So there might be some procedural um, inequality, but I, to me, this is an emergency. We need to do everything we can to help our small business get on the feet. So their feet. So I'm going to ask that we pass this, um, tonight for 6120, um, to help our small businesses. Okay. Okay. So we have one more then, which is resolution 46620, council member Kelly, an emergency resolution fixed fixing the date of the next regular council meeting, which would be June 17th. Without objection? Without objection. Okay, that clears the deck. Um, we're gonna give the uh, staff a few minutes to get things together, so I wouldn't recommend signing off, and we're gonna roll right into the council meeting. So we'll take a short break. Let's say, let's reconvene at 1.30. Okay. Thank you all, and thanks for uh, working through this imperfect uh, situation we have and didn't mean to be impatient with anybody. I just want to, I know that certain things have to get passed and I know it, a lot of people don't want to schedule subsequent meeting. So thanks for your patience with that. I'll send out another invite. Do you want to cut this in? Vicky, yeah. are you just going to send another invite? Yes. Or is it easier just to keep people? Um, okay, you all can stay. Unmute everybody for a sec. Okay. Unmute. It's easier to use this link. Okay, I'll just keep this up since we're already up. Okay. Everybody take take a few minute break and come back, but just keep your keep signed into this um, this Zoom call and we'll start the council meeting. All right. Okay. Calling to the council meeting Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Kelly. Here. Bishop. Here. Rancatelli. Here. Cleveland. Here. Conwell. Griffin. Harrison. Here. Here. 
Bashir Jones. Here. Joe Jones. Casey. McCormack. Mooney. Palenthic. Santana. Slider. Present. Zone. Present. You have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you. Everybody, please pause for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, nation, for God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. This council meeting is being held during the COVID-19 emergency declaration and is being conducted as a virtual meeting in accordance with Ohio's open meeting laws as amended by sub House Bill 197. Notice has been publicly posted. In compliance with the charter and rules of council, a copy of all legislation to be heard during this council meeting was furnished previous to the meeting and every council member through their council email. It is hereby acknowledged without objection that all council members have received this legislation. And I'll just add on to that. The you may have got an email very recently with the most current version. The only significant amendment um, to be aware of had to do with the uh, transportation piece, the uh, scooter piece, uh, that about that the mile an hour provision. So that's the only significant amendment and adding all council members as sponsors to the racism as a public health resolution. But other than that, the, those are the only two uh, findings that you might have in the email that was just sent to you, but it was sent with all the amendments that we did at the committee of the whole that just recently uh, concluded. Another housekeeping note, uh, please make sure that you are visible for the vote. That's what makes you present to vote is if you're visible on the screen when the clerk calls the vote. So with that, um, Madam Clerk, please dispense with the journal. Councilmember Bashir Jones, that the reading of the minutes of the last meeting be dispensed with the journal of truth, seconded by Councilmember Casey. Yeah, she's still alive. Communications. There are no communications. Thank you. First reading emergency ordinances to be referred for administrative and committee review. Ordinance 442 2020 by Council Members McCormack, Johnson, and Brancatelli by departmental request, authorizing the Director of Capital Projects to issue a permit to the Board of the Park Commissioners of the Cleveland Metro Park District to encroach into the public right of way of River Road by installing, using, and maintaining an asphalt all purpose trail. Ordinance 443 uh, 2020 by Council Members McCormack, Johnson, Brancatelli, and Brancatelli by departmental request authorizing the Director of Capital Projects to issue a permit to DI Rentals LLC to encroach into the public right of way beneath West 20th Place by installing, using, and maintaining an underground electrical conduit. Ordinance 444-2020 by Council Members McCormack, Johnson, and Brancatelli by departmental request, authorizing the Director of Capital Projects to issue a permit to Haddis window pane to encroach into the public right of way of Prospect Avenue by installing, using, and maintaining one embedded brass medallion, one trash receptacle, four bronze benches, eight bronze and concrete planters. Ordinance 445 2020 by Council Members McCormack, Johnson, and Brancatelli by departmental request, authorizing the Director of Capital Projects to issue a permit to Ohio City Legacy to encroach into the public rights of way of Lorraine Avenue, West 25th and Gehring Street by installing, using, and maintaining basement shoring, tieback rods, a building canopy, and two building-mounted pylon signs. Ordinance 447-2020 by Council Members Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request to amend sections one and three of Ordinance 176-2020 relating to grants from U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the fiscal year 2020 under Title I of the Housing and Community Development Act. 
uh, for the 2020 Federal Home Investment Partnership Act Program, Emergency Solutions Grant, and Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS Program. Ordinance 448 2020 by Council Members Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Community Development to exercise a second option to renew a contract with Cyber Ridge LLC to implement a loan servicing system and community development tracking and reporting system. Ordinance 449 2020 by Council Members Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Community Development to administer the Community Engagement Healthy Home Initiative to enter into one or more contracts with various community development corporations for the purpose of hiring community engagement specialists by, neighbor by neighborhood to improve the quality of life for residents in the city's housing stock. Ordinance 459-2020 by council members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public health to apply for and accept a grant from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency for 2020 and 2021 financial assistance for the operation of Division of Air Quality. Ordinance 460 2020 by Council Members Bashir Jones, Brancatelli, and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the Mayor and the Commissioner of Purchases and Supplies to acquire and reconvey properties presently owned by the Inspiron Group or its designee located at 3101 Euclid Avenue for the purpose of entering into the chain of title prior to the adoption of tax increment financing legislation. Ordinance 462-2020 by council members Brancatelli and McCormack to supplement the codify ordinances by amending section 337.251 as amended related to, to limited lodging in residence districts. Ordinance 463-2020 by council members McCormack, Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request authorizing the mayor and the commissioner of purchases and supplies to acquire and reconvey properties presently owned by sustainable communities associates or its designee for the purpose of entering into the chain of title prior to the adoption of tax increment financing legislation. Ordinance 464 2020 by council members McCormack, Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request authorizing director of economic development to enter into a contract with sustainable community associates or its designee to provide economic development assistance to support the development of the Lincoln Building Project. Ordinance 471 2020 by Council Members Cleveland, Kelly, and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Port Control to exercise the first option to renew a contract with Aeromag 2000 CLE for the lease of space in the North Cargo Facility Building for the operation of an aircraft de icing support and vehicle maintenance facility at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Ordinance 472, 2020, authorizing Director of Port Control to exercise the first option to renew a contract with Ab Flight Services Corporation for the lease of space in the passenger terminal building at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport and to support its ground handling operation for Legion Air. Ordinance 473, 2020, by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of port control to exercise the first option to renew a contract with worldwide flight services for the lease space in the South Cargo facility building at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Ordinance 474 2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, determining the method of making the public improvement of repairing, maintaining and installing concrete on runways, taxiways, ramps, roadways, and other services for the various divisions of the Department of Port Control and authorizing Director of Port Control to enter into one or more public improvement requirement contracts for the making of the improvement. Ordinance 475 2020 by Council Members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts of labor and materials necessary to remove rubber and other contaminants from, pay, from paid services for the various divisions of the Department of Port Control. Ordinance 478 2020 by Council Members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Health to enter into one or more contracts with the Center on Urban Poverty and Community Development at Case Western Reserve University to provide evaluation services for the Moms First program. Ordinance 479 2020 by Council Members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Health to enter into one or more contracts with Ronald K. White. DBA the transparency program to continue to provide fatherhood services to participants in the Moms First program. 
Ordinance 480-2020 by Council Members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts of indigent cremations of deceased residents for the Division of Health, Department of Public Health, for a period of two years with one two-year option to renew exercisable by the Director of Public Health. Ordinance 482-2020 by Council Members Zone and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Safety to enter into an agreement with Cuyahoga County Solid Waste District to accept funding in support of the Department of Public Safety's Environmental Crimes Task Force for the purposes, including but not limited to, the purchase of equipment, clothing, and for overtime necessary to assist in combating illegal dumping. Ordinance 483-2020 by Council Members Zone and Kelly by departmental request to amend section 393.05 of the codified ordinances relating to hazard determination and communication program. Ordinance 484-2020 by council members Zone and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public safety to apply for and accept a grant from the Ohio Office of Criminal Justice Services for fiscal year 19 State Burn Memorial Justice Assistance Grant for the operation of Northern Ohio Law Enforcement Task Force. Ordinance 486-2020 by Council Members Casey and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Utilities to enter into one or more agreements with the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District to replace a water main in Brecksville Road under Chippewa Creek in the city of Brecksville and the design of the main replacement. Ordinance 487-2020. For the count for count, I'm sorry, by council members Casey and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public utilities to enter into one or more contracts without competitive bidding with Thermo Electron North American, a part of Thermo Fisher Scientific for the pur purchase of items and services required to convert the existing liquid. Um, sorry chromatograph, no, that's not right, but into a tandem mass spectrometer, including software and other necessary appurtenances, training and maintenance for a period of three years with two one-year options to renew. Ordinance 488-2020 by council members Casey and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public services, I'm sorry, public utilities to exercise first option to renew a contract with Pinckney Enterprise DBA take a break quick catering to provide a first class food and beverage service for the Carl B. Stokes facility. Ordinance 489 2020 by Council Members Casey and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Utilities to enter into one or more agreements with CHN Housing Partners to administer energy, water, and sewer conservation services to low income homeowners for divisions of water, water pollution control, Cleveland Public Park. Cleveland Public Power, Department of Public Utilities. Ordinance 490 2020 by Council Members Casey and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Utilities to enter into a utilities repair agreement with the County of Cuyahoga to pay or reimburse directly related costs incurred by the county for the repair of storm and sanitary sewers on an as needed basis. First reading emergency ordinances to be passed. Ordinance 450 2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the directors of finance to employ one or more consultants, computer software developers, or vendors, or, or one or more firms of consultants to implement various technology projects, services, and upgrades to existing systems under the 2020 ITS capital project plan. Ordinance 451-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Finance to enter into one or more contracts with Garda, DBA, United American Security for professional services necessary to provide unarmed security services for the various divisions of city government. Ordinance 452-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing payment of membership dues of the city of Cleveland and Global Cleveland for 2020. Ordinance 453-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request to amend section 48 of Ordinance 323-15 as amended 
relating to compensation for various classifications. Ordinance 454-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request to amend section 50 of ordinance 323-15 as amended relating to compensation for various classifications. Ordinance 455-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request approving the collective bargaining agreement with the Service Employees International Union Local 1 and to amend section 7 of ordinance 323-15 as amended relating to, to compensation for various classifications. Ordinance 456-2020 by Council Members Johnson and Kelly by departmental request authorizing the purchase by one or more standard and requirement contracts for the purchase, lease, or lease with option to purchase of various on-road vehicles and off-road equipment, apparatus, cabs, bodies, and accessories, equipment, and other aftermarket items necessary to equip the vehicles authorized for their intended purposes. Ordinance 457-2020 by Council Members Johnson and Kelly by departmental request authorizing, authorizing the purchase by one or more standard and requirement contracts for the purchase, lease, or lease with option to purchase of various on-road vehicles and off-road equipment, apparatus, cabs, bodies, and accessories, equipment, and other aftermarket items necessary to equip the vehicles authorized for their intended use. Ordinance 458-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Finance on behalf of Cleveland Muni Court to enter into one or more contracts with Oriana House for professional services necessary to provide appropriate placement for defendants to be assigned and to supervise pretrial release without the sanction of incarceration and to provide related services. Ordinance 461 2020 by Council Members Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Capital Projects and Director of City Planning to establish a temporary program for the use of private parking lots, streets, and other public rights of way. Ordinance 468 2020 by Council Member Mooney, authorizing Director of Department of Aging to enter into an agreement with Core Community Service for the Senior Lawn Care and Snow Removal Program through the use of Ward 11 Casino Revenue Funds. Ordinance 469-2020 by Mayor Jackson and Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing various city directors to apply for, accept, and expend funds, loans, and gifts that become available from federal, state, and other public entities and private entities to respond to and mitigate the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, including funds to reimburse the city for costs incurred as a result of COVID-19 and authorizing the appropriate director to file and execute all agreements and documents necessary for these purposes. Ordinance 470-2020 by Council Members Johnson and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public works to enter into one or more agreements with custom truck one source for the rental with purchase option of up to eight grapple trucks for the Division of Waste Collections and Disposal Department of Public Works. Ordinance 476, 2020, by Council Members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Health to apply for and accept a grant from the United States Department of Homeland Security for 2020 to 2021 BioWatch program. Ordinance 477-2020 by Council Members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Health to apply for and accept a grant from the Ohio Department of Health for the Title X program, authorizing the Director to charge and accept fees, entering into one or more agreements to receive payments from Medicare, Medicaid, and Medicaid HMO programs. Ordinance 481-2020 by Council Members Griffin Kelly, and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Health to enter into a tri-party agreement with the County of Cuyahoga and Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine for professional services necessary to continue the first year Cleveland program and authorizing any agreements needed to continue the program for a period of one year. Ordinance 485-2020 by Council Members Zone and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing Director of Public Safety to apply for and accept a grant from the United States Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance for the Operation Relentless Pursuit Program, authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts of materials, equipment, supplies, or services needed and authorizing director to enter into one or more contracts with various agencies or entities to implement the grant. 
Read the motion to suspend the rules. By Council Member Bashir Jones, that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read be placed on final passage, seconded by Council Member Casey. Thank you. If everybody would please be visible for the call of the roll, uh, make sure that your video is on. Please call the roll. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slight, Zone. 16 yeas. Please call the roll on passage. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slight, Zone. 16 yeas, Mr. President. Thank you. First reading emergency resolution referred for administrative and committee review. Resolution 446 2020 by Council Members McCormack, Johnson, and Brancatelli by departmental request declaring the intent to vacate a portion of Lorraine Court. First reading emergency resolutions to be adopted. Resolution 465 2020 by Council Members Zone, Kelly, and Cleveland condemning North, Norfolk Southern Cor Corporation for rerouting daily trains carrying highly toxic flammable crude oil and ethanol through the city of Cleveland without public notice, strongly urging Norfolk Southern Corporation to immediately cease this rerouting, urging Norfolk Southern Corporation to withdraw its request to the Federal Railroad Administration to reduce the rail and traffic handling capacity of the only reliever route between Chicago and Pittsburgh, thus causing more traffic through Cleveland and further urging that all hazardous material shipments not originating or terminating in the city of Cleveland be moved to less populous areas. Resolution 466, 2020 by council member Kelly, fixing the date of the next regular meeting of the council. Resolution 467, 2020 by council member Kelly by departmental request to adopt and declare a tax budget for the city of Cleveland for the year 2021 and submit it to the County Budget Commission as required by state law, chapter 5705 of the revised code. Read the motion to suspend the rules. By council member Bashir Jones, that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read be placed on final passage, seconded by council member Casey. Please call the roll. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slight, Zong. 16. 16 yeas. Thank you. Please call the roll in adoption. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slight, Zong. 16 yeas. Second reading emergency ordinances to be passed. Ordinance 251-2020 by council members Zone and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of community relations to apply for and accept a grant from the Cuyahoga County Court of Common Pleas Juvenile Division to conduct the 2020 Cleveland Community Diversion Program. Ordinance 320-2020 by council members Zone and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing director of public safety to donate police canine Dexter to Paul Shaughnessy. Ordinance 337-2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request to amend the title in section one of ordinance 901-2019 relating to one or more contracts for the inspection, maintenance and repair of three engineered materials arresting systems. Ordinance 350-2020 by council member Griffin to appropriate property for the public purpose of completing public road improvements located at 2275 East 101st Street. Ordinance 351-2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the director of poor control to consent to the assignment of a contract from Harris Corporation to L L3 Harris Technologies and authorizing the director of poor control to exercise a second option to renew the contract to provide professional services necessary to maintain install and upgrade the noise monitoring equipment and software required for FAA part 150 adherence. Ordinance 367-2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, 
authorizing the director of port control to exercise the first option to renew a contract with ABM Aviation to lease certain city-owned property in the passenger terminal building at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Ordinance 371-2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the director of port control to enter into a lease agreement with f &E Aircraft Maintenance for the lease of certain property space located at 19200 Primary Road at Cleveland Hopkins International <coughs> Airport to support their aircraft maintenance and other support services, other support services for various tenants. Ordinance 375-2020 by council members Cleveland and Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts of fencing gates and guardrails and labor and materials for the repair and maintenance of gates, fencing, guardrails, and other related items, including installation, if necessary, for the various divisions of the Department of Port Control. Ordinance 396, 2020, as amended by Council Member McCormack to amend section four of ordinance 464-19 in order to repeal a sunset expiration of sections 401.1525 401.231, 473.10, Chapter 517 of the for shared mobility device and bicycle vendors, Section 517.01 through 08, and amended sections 473.01 through 0305, 0709, 431.03, and 431.15 regulating the vendors and use of shared mobility device devices and amending section 473.02 of the codified ordinances regarding the speed limit while operating an e-scooter. Ordinance 397-2020 by council member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the issuance and the sale of bonds in the maximum principal amount of $15,300,000 for the purpose of providing funds to improve buildings and structure, structures, housing and providing for the discharge of governmental functions and services otherwise ben benefiting the public safety, health and welfare and for the division, I'm sorry, and for the provision of necessary fixtures, furnishings, equipment, technology, appurtenances, utilities and site improvements for the purpose and authorizing related materials. Ordinance 398-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the issuance and sale of bonds in the maximum principal amount of $2 million for housing and neighborhood development and authorizing related matters. Ordinance 399-2020 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, authorizing the issuance and sale of bonds in the maximum principal amount of $23,250,000 for the purpose of providing funds to improve municipal parks and recreation facilities and authorize related matters. Ordinance 400 2020 by council member Kelly by departmental request authorizing the issuance and sale of bonds in the maximum principal amount of $23,500,000 for the purpose of providing funds to improve the municipal street system and related facilities and authorizing related matters. Ordinance 401 2020 by council member Kelly by departmental request providing for the issuance and sale of revenue bonds in a principal amount not to exceed $2.5 million to provide funds for economic and community development in the city and authorizing related matters. Read the motion to suspend the rules. By council member Bashir Jones, <clears throat> excuse me that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read placed on final passage, seconded by council member Casey. Please call the roll. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Polensic, Santana, Slife, Zone. 16 yeas. Please call the roll on passage. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, <clears throat> Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Polensic, Santana, Slight Zone. 16 yeas. Thank you. Second reading emergency resolution to be adopted. Resolution 296 2020 by Council Members Griffin, Bashir Jones, McCormack, Santana, Hairston, McCor uh, Cleveland, 
and Joe Jones de uh, declaring an emergency resolution declaring racism a public health crisis and establishing a working group to promote racial equity in the city of Cleveland. Please read the motion to suspend the rules. By council member Bashir Jones, that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read be placed on final passage, seconded by council member Casey. Councilman Casey, do you have a comment? Your yes. hand is up. You have... Yes, just making sure that it's all council members on the resolution for uh, racism. Yes. Yeah, all council members are. are it is? All right, I'm just, just making sure. Thank you. Please call the roll. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Kalensic, Santana, Slife, Zone. 16 yeas. All right, thank you. Please call the roll on adoption. Kelly Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Kalensic, Santana, Slife, Zone. 16 yeas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Madam Clerk, are there absences to excuse? Um, I'm sorry. By council, uh, by council member Bashir Jones, that the absence of council member Joe Jones is hereby excused, seconded by council member Casey. Thank you. Uh, I want to take just a minute to really thank everybody for bearing with me. And this, this process is our first committee of the whole plus council meeting. We'll have all the bugs worked out by the next time we meet. With that, this council is adjourned to the call of the chair, which is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. We'll do the same format, Committee of the Whole, uh, followed by the council meeting. Um, this is, uh, I think this should be one of our, even though we're, it's not real, it's kind of a meeting, but this should be one of our proudest moments. So thank you everybody for all that. I think we did some great things today and I uh, really appreciate everybody. And I'm uh, proud to call you all my colleagues. So thank you all very much. We are adjourned. Thank you.